Day four of the Wisconsin State Fair, honoring those who serve our country as part of the Military and Veterans Recognition Day. Christina Van Zelt is live out at the State Fair grounds with another way these troops are being remembered. And you say it's a perfect night out there. Yeah, Ted, it was beautiful tonight, and as you said, today was all about honoring our veterans and military, which is exactly what this memorial does behind me. It's honoring fallen so soldiers. It's the first time it's here at the Wisconsin State Fair, and that's why veterans who were here today say this one was emotional. In a place of good fun and lightheartedness, there's also a spot for remembrance and reflection. The Vietnam Wall is names and this puts a face to those names. In the exposition center, among the crafts and foods, is the Remembering Our Fallen Memorial, a post 9-11 display of fallen soldiers from September 2001 to August 2021, directly related to the global war on terror, Iraq and Afghanistan. Sad that we lost so many people over there. 34 tribute towers and more than 5,000 photos. I kind of use this as a way to treat my post-traumatic stress. David Luton served in the Marine Corps in 1978. He connects with veterans at the memorial on display for the first time at the Wisconsin State Fair. Everywhere from, you know, remember when he did this and, and goofy stuff like that to where they, I keep Kleenex on my table. Chris Erickson visited the fair for Veterans and Military Recognition Day Sunday. He served in the Navy and says this ties it all together. And the different uh, backgrounds of people and everybody that comes through here, um, to have this in here and to show all this, I think is absolutely great. It's a walkthrough memorial that moved those who took the time to look. It's kind of surreal. It kind of makes the hair stand up on my arms a little bit just because um, I lost some um, good friends in the service as well. In a place with so much joy, Luton and other veterans say that's because of these men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. If you're coming to the State Fair and want to come see this in person yourself, we're located in the Exposition Center, and this is all the way on the south side. The man who actually runs the stand says a great way to experience it is to look up one or two of these names on Google and to hear one of those soldiers' stories. Reporting live at the State Fair grounds, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. I imagine there are people coming through who know people on that wall. Oh, of course, we saw some people, so there's a directory of names asking the man who runs the memorial um, how they can find them. So they have it all listed there. If you know somebody that might be on this memorial, they do have it listed and can help you point you in the right direction. And it's not just for today, which was military day. It's going to be there the whole stretch, correct? Yep, this will be here all week throughout the State Fair. We still don't know if they'll be coming back next year, but uh, they said it's had some great feedback so far, and they hope to come back. It's been a great experience. I hope people take advantage of it while it is here. Christina Van Zelt, State Fair tonight. Thanks.